the Prisma Color Colored Pencils. I always wanted to try them. And now I can finally do that because I got the Prisma Color Color Pencil Box with 72 color pencils inside. So this video will be a review of them and you can also see my first reactions and if I like these color pencils. Since I always wanted to try the Prisma colors, I was very happy when I received them and wanted to unpack them right away. And I have to say that these color pencils are very beautiful and they also have a great color selection. Until now I have always used the Faro Castle Polychromos and I like these color pencils quite a lot but it often bothered me that they are quite hard and I can't create soft transitions with them. Anyway, I can do that very well, especially when I'm working with large areas. I have heard that with the Prisma colors I can create better transitions and generally work better because they have a softer lead. I have also heard that Prisma colors are good for beginners. But I had also heard that I couldn't draw fine details well with the Prisma colors because they are quite soft. With the Polychromos, which I have used up to now, I can draw finer details better because the lead is harder and thus it's easier to draw in smaller things. That's why my plan from the beginning was that when I have the Prisma colors, I will draw the things that I want to look smooth with the Prisma colors and draw the things that are finer, such as smaller details with the polychromos. This way the two can complement each other well and I can continue to use both. Yeah, that's my plan. Since I wanted to know what colors they have and I was also curious if they are really as soft as everyone says, I first of all swatched them so I created a color table and filled it with each color pencil. And I was very impressed and surprised. The color pencils were so soft and it really felt nice to draw with them. If I'm completely honest, I didn't expect them to be so soft. After I had tried out these color pencils a bit, I wanted to draw something with them right away. So I used splashing water again as a template. That is the same motif that I used as a template for the drawing I made with the 100 yen color pencils. But since this drawing I did with the 100 yen color pencils was quite rough and I wasn't really satisfied with it, I wanted to draw the same motif again but this time with higher quality color pencils and a wider range of colors. That's why I simply transferred the sketch for it into my sketchbook and started drawing there with the Prisma colors. And I was very very happy the whole time I was drawing because I could just work with such soft leads. I really enjoyed applying the colors and blending them. I was also able to blend colors much better than I could with the polychromos. So I really like these color pencils and would definitely like to continue drawing with them. I think with them I can also supplement my skills in drawing with color pencils much more and become better. As I said, I can still use the polychromos. With the Prisma colors I will draw things that should look smoother in the end and with the polychromos I will just draw the small details, fine things. I really like the fact that these two colored pencils just complement each other so well.
after I drew this picture, I really wanted to know what a portrait drawn with Prisma colors would look like. That's why I did that. And although this portrait took quite a long time, I still really enjoyed it. Because I was able to blend much better with them, blending wasn't tiring at all, rather it was quite fun and because the feel of them on the paper is very soft, applying the colors was also much more fun, especially on large areas. Oh yes, and the paper I used is Strathmore Bristol paper. Unfortunately, I can't remember if it was smooth or vellum paper. Yes, and my opinion of the Prisma colors. I like them very, very much. They have a really soft lead and blend really well. I had a lot of fun drawing with them and it was also very pleasant. I can definitely recommend them. 
I think both drawings I did with the Prisma colors turned out very realistic. Maybe even two of the most realistic drawings I have ever drawn. For people who mainly want to draw realistically, these color pencils are also very suitable. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Feel free to write in the comments what you think of these pictures. And what kind of color pencils do you use? I would be very happy about a comment. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If it is so, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more creative videos, creative challenges and hopefully helpful tutorials. I would be very happy about that. Thank you and see you next time.